Oh, it started? No, no. Oh, okay. But it's recording. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gonna do that for sure. Okay. You know, I'm upset. Why? About um, what you gonna call it, my nigga, R. Kelly. Yeah. Here we go. That's not your nigga. No, he rapes little girls. He he wasn't. He wasn't. Yeah. He didn't get proven guilty for that. He got proven guilty for the slaves. Oh, that's so much better. He said the it, slaves were little girls. The slaves was grown ass. Well, both of them. He didn't have. I, so if you had a daughter, and she was going to high school, and where was he from? Detroit, whatever that. Chicago. It, Chicago, right? Same shit. And she was outside waiting for her bus. Mm-hmm. And instead of her bus coming, R. Kelly's car pulls up, and he's like. Yes, Shatandria, because you look like you would have a daughter named Shatandria. And he picks her up. It's fucked up. Right? He <laughs> picks her up, and then he's like, uh, your body is calling my name. Whatever. That, the nigga, come with Kells. Remember that? When he's like, yeah, uh-huh. And you're like, I want my daughter back. I want, Shatandria, I want Shatandria back. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Nah, she's mine now, but I'll pay you thirty thousand dollars to keep her. What you finna do? Give me forty thousand dollars in a live performance of Thoya Thoing. <laughs> <laughs> you know Thoya Thoing. It's his best it's record. It's not even his be- it's not even a like an R. Kelly hit. Like Thoya Th- that shit is so stupid. I hate that song. It's terrible. I think that's one of his best records. It's is actually have I own the best of R. Kelly. You don't. On iTunes. You don't. And Throw Your Throwing is track 16. That song sucks. That's like one of his worst. You just don't have good taste. I think the Neptunes produced it. We could tell you don't have good taste by them fucking spiderweb tattoos on your kneecaps. That's nigga. crazy. That's crazy. <sighs> because I, I, nick- <laughs> I nicknamed them. <laughs> your joints hurt in the cold? No, 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 no. I'm just saying. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. We're not going to make this a whole podcast full of fat jokes. That wasn't a fat joke. It was something about my, my your joints. joints. <laughs> my joints. And niggas, skinny niggas have joint problems. Oh, I'm, I'm yelling. Sorry. Skinny niggas have joint problems. Fat niggas, medium, in between niggas. Everybody has. I feel like anything said about my body is a fat joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's a you problem. That's something that you need to internally get together. I heard you. I heard you. Okay. Welcome to Special Needs Podcast. Oh, okay. I was going to say like three other podcast names and then... Go ahead. Do your thing. (laughs) Welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast. Thank you, Spotify viewership. Thank you, YouTube listenership. Uh, Welcome to No Jumper, the the coolest podcast in the world. Um, What else? Welcome to the 25 and Over Club. Welcome to Honestly, though. Um, Welcome to Horrible Decisions. And I think that, oh, yeah, welcome to the Joe Rogan podcast, man. Welcome. I'm Joe Rogan. I'm the only one here. <laughs> nah, welcome welcome to the Special Needs podcast, yo. Way better intro, don't you agree? Welcome to the Special Needs podcast, y'all. This is going to be a podcast full of jokes about current events. Uh, We're going to talk about children. We're going to talk about R. Kelly a lot. You're going to hear a lot about Thoya Thoing. <laughs> what up? <laughs> You know what? It's it it's almost it's it's funny, but I I I really commend you for sticking to the fact that like that's your favorite record, and My he's, favorite and, R. he's Kelly your, record. and he's your person. You know what I'm saying? Like you stand behind you stand you gonna stand by him. You gonna stick beside him through thick and through thaw it thin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I got him to do his back for a laugh. Oh what? <laughs> oh damn. My what? That's my last fat joke, I promise. Hell no. <laughs> I know I see I was genuinely jovial just now. I know, I love it. That jovial is a Yes. I I I, I fall upon some seventeen dollar words every once in a while, like my vocabulary be vocabbing. What makes it seventeen dollars and not like nineteen fifty? 
I don't know. You just put a low price on it. Once you put a price on a word, it seems better. But you can't put a low price on it. Like you can't say, "Oh, that's a three dollar word." That should sound bad. Yeah, that's bad. But yeah. seventeen dollars is like, ooh, seventeen dollars yeah. a word. Ooh, you got three of those. You know, that's money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But yeah, yo, we, um, I I got an issue, and I feel like nobody's discussing it. Talk about it. Um. You alright over there? Yeah, I'm fine. The table's You're gonna hit a fucking gong in the middle of my sentence. All right, so look, I noticed something, and I feel like it's crazy that Michelle Kelly and Latavia did not notice this shit sooner, because this shit was set up to fail from the beginning. This Destiny's Child shit. How the fuck you got four people in the group, and it's called Destiny's Child. Yeah, I mean, Destiny's Children would have been way better. Crazy. My mother would have fought for it to be called Destiny's Children. I feel like the other mothers just laid down and let Tina make Beyonce the star of the show. Like, she literally was Destiny's child. Yeah. Like, Kelly had been all divorced and shit. Did you guys know that Kelly's real name is Calendria? Nah, you bullsh- you bullshit. Her real me. no, I put that on everything I love. Her real name is Calendria. I was just like, oh, like oh, oh, that's what I was doing. One day I went on her page and I was like, yo, how old is she? Like she looks mad fucking good. You know what I'm saying? I went on Google and I Googled Kelly Rowland and what came up was Kelly Calendria Rowland. I was like, no, it said Calendria Kelly Rowland, and I was like, <laughs> what that mean? <laughs> <laughs> want to uppercut her mother. Oh, that's an uppercut? <laughs> like, mm, yeah. The thing is, I wish... Calendria? I wish that somebody told her mother that, Kelly, it ain't short for nothing. You don't got to, like, you don't got to add nothing <laughs> to it. You don't. Like, why did you... She was like, I'm going to name you Calendria. Calendria! I have a friend <laughs> named Kelly, and I call her Calendria now. You know, Kelly Rowland has had a rocky relationship with her mom, which is why she lived, moved in with Beyonce's family when they were kids. So maybe, you know what? That maybe makes that's sense. why Ke- Ke- Kelly's mom ain't shit. Yeah, I would have had a problem with anybody who fucking named me a <laughs> six syllable fucking name. Yeah, Calendria. Like, bitch. It's only four, but still. <laughs> yeah, but it's still just like it's unnecessary. Oh, Even yeah. Latavia. Like, what yeah. the fuck are you thinking? You know what? You put your name Calendria on a job application. If she wasn't Kelly Rowland, she's not going to get the job. But if we want to really get real about this shit, the only one that had a normal name was Michelle ass. Yeah, because Beyonce what, is what ghetto is as Beyonce? What the fuck is a Beyonce? But the cool thing about that is, like, a name is what you make it. That's true. That's true. Because Beyonce didn't mean shit until, you know, she was Destiny's child. Yeah. She and she is Destiny's Show. We, we 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 realize that over time. I think when she went solo, she shouldn't have even changed the name to. Uh, she shouldn't have kept the name Beyonce. She should have changed her name to Destiny's Child. Really stick it to them bitches, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Okay. Sometimes niggas say dumb shit, and I just let it happen. Oh. Uh, let me know when that happens. Okay. Anyway, so. <laughs> On Instagram, spiritual word or whatever, multiple of them posted, ladies only, what was the reason you slept with a guy once and never slept with him again? And then they came back and said, men only, what was the reason you slept with a woman once and never went back? Go. The reason I slept with a woman once and never went back, I told this story um, on the internet before in like a little street interview. Um, I was dealing with this big chick, right? And I know what I look like, but I'm going I'm to say she's big, right? But you weren't always this big. No, I wasn't. And at that time, I wasn't. Like, I was probably like a buck 80 at that time. Okay. But this chick, she had to be like four-something. She had selective creative pictures, though. So, you know, I met her on Facebook. So I went I, I went over there. Like half the face and she was looking good and the titty was up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I just thought she just had big titties. I thought she was like, you know... I thought she weighed two something. I was trying to do something. <laughs> so look. <laughs> that was a dad joke. Like, unk. That's what oh, she, an un- unk would say. I'm unky for sure. I'm unky. <laughs> I am unky. So look, I go over there. I take the bus. I get off the bus. She's at the bus stop. She's at the bus stop. And I'm looking for her. Because I'm like, hell no, it can't be this fucking big ass wrestler. So... <laughs> She said, she's like, hi. I'm like, oh, shit, it's her. 
There's a Popeyes right by the bus stop. You go to the Popeyes. I tell long stories. We eat the Popeyes. <laughs> But she had, like, a family meal. We get upstairs, her family is there. It's like cousins and shit. They all leave. The family meal is for me and this bitch. We eat the family meal, right? Because <laughs> I ain't turning down no Popeyes. Hell no. Nah. So we go in the room. We start fucking. And it's, like, it's gross. Wait, I'm sorry. It's, how did you get from Popeyes to the room? Oh, she was, like, I knew what I was there for. We met on Facebook. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook okay. pussy player. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... <laughs> We go in the room, we start fucking, it's gross, as expected, like, just... Define gross. It's just, like, it's gross. She had folds everywhere, and it was one time I thought that my dick was inside of her, and it wasn't, like... Did her pussy stink? No, 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 no. She she was a clean, fat girl, but you could tell she had an expiration date on that shit. Like, if she didn't fuck right now, she would have to re-shower again. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> she's saying all types of freaky shit. But all of that shit is like, I can't get with it because I really don't like you. I'm just here because I'm already here. There was Popeyes, but I'm not going to eat your chicken and not fuck you. So, you know, so we fuck. I nut, she nut. We, she go to sleep. I'm sitting there staring at the ceiling like, what the fuck did I just do? I got to get out of here. But the bus is probably not running but every hour. Mm -hmm. So I get up, I leave on the way out. I see that she has some sneakers. I'm like, them shits look like they could fit me. I checked them. Them shits could fit me. It's my size. So I stole the sneakers, and I never spoke to her again. It was Aqua 8s. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. You came up that day, yeah, my boy. Bitch had some Jordans. Three Popeyes, <laughs> pussy, and some Jordans. That's what I'm saying. I see this as a win, but definitely I wouldn't go back. Yeah, no, that's that's facts. No, I mean, yeah. well, you can't because you stole the sneakers. The thing is, I stole the sneakers because she lied. Yeah, why would you lie about your weight? Like, bitches be lying every day, and, like, I hate when, like... And that's the other thing, like... Damn, this is going to go into a story. Good. So, I like I actually like big women. Not not fat, like, o OD folds and shit, but I like, I like a big woman. Like, I like a thick woman. Like, I like ass. And like I, I wanna like if you got a little fupa, I'll I'll pick it up and dive into your pussy. Like, so like Lizzo, or no, like, she's too big. Like the brat. That's so crazy. <laughs> like <laughs> I don't like dikey women. I like pretty girls. Oh, you can say that. Yeah. So my last relationship, I was living with this nigga. I really didn't like him anymore. Mm -hmm. So, but we were living together, and like I was just trying to like uh, see it through, or whatever. But I'm like, all right, you know what? Like, I want some pussy. You want some pussy. Let's have a threesome. Let's find a bitch. Okay. So I go on Tinder, and I see this bitch. She's like, she looks like she's Hispanic. Turns out she's she's white and black. And she was thick, but, like, you know, she looked pretty. So, and my ex, he was, like, he was, like, flabby. Like, he was fat, like, and not really. Well, not fat, but he was, like, he was gross, you know? He had, like, a skin condition. Like, he wasn't cute. It's fucked up. Whatever, fuck that nigga. So I start talking to her, and I actually like like her. Like she's cool as fuck, like all of that. And he's like, "All right, let's go meet her. She lives in Jersey." So we go over there, we meet her. She's thick as fuck, but she's bad. Like she's mad pretty, like regular everyday pretty, and she smell good. And he's like, Ugh, "She's too fat." I'm like, "The audacity of your fat fucking ass." <laughs> and I'm like, "You know what? Whatever. She's mine. I'm just gonna have my own bitch." So me and her, like, we're talking, whatever. I still not, I, yo, to this day, and this was three years ago. We still haven't had sex yet. But me and her have been talking on and off. She's kind of crazy. She's a little crazy. That's why I haven't had sex with her yet. Because mm -hmm. I'm scared. Because I had an ex-girlfriend, and she was crazy. The bitch tried to kill us. So I'm like, I got to be careful. With I've been her. there. Huh? I've been there, but yeah. Good. Like, bitch, you, you going you gonna to turn the car into another car. But you driving, and I'm in the car. So you going to kill us? So, yeah, it's crazy. Um, But, yeah, my big girl, yeah. So, yeah, I can't wait. Like, but I think it's about to happen. Like, I think I'm about to finally dive into her pussy. But I but I, I might come up missing. Yeah, I mean, it's a risk you got to be willing to take. That's facts. I think I'm just going to go for it. Fuck it. It's been three years. See, I only dealt with, like, two big girls in my life. Because I'm not, I'm not going for that shit. Whatever, If you want to come up missing, come up missing. You just chose to come up missing. I'm not even about to respond to that shit. <laughs> I only dealt with two big girls in my life. One, I got tricked into dealing with. I stole her sneakers. The other one was the first girl I ever dealt with, yo. And she broke the shit out of my heart. Mm. And that's why I don't fuck with fat girls now. I just happened to get a whole lot of karma from the universe, so now I'm fat. But <laughs> even still, I would say the worst shit about fat women just because this little slut broke my heart. 
Like, what and, was her name? Tell the world. I can't even say her name because it hurt you. Yeah. Nah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's her name? Latavia. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. Damn, I can't do it. I can't say her name because, like, the thing is, as much as like she broke my heart, I don't want to disrespect her and have people that know her know I'm disrespecting her because I'm about to say some disrespectful shit, but. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, disrespect her by name. I feel like that's too far. However, um, very nice person. Nah, I'm just not trying to fuck the money up. Okay, say that. <laughs> so look, I'm dating this chick for three years, right? But fuck that, man. Let me tell you how we started dating. We used to walk to the same train. Like she, she used to go to the train. I used to continue to walk home. So one day she gets to a train. This bitch decides she want to kiss me. She go. Just spring the kiss on me. She grabbed my hand. Wow, I throw it on her pussy. I'm like, oh, shit. Wait, what? She grabbed my hand and just threw it on her pussy over the jeans. But she wanted me to rub her pussy while I kissed her. And it's the first kiss. Oh. I'm like, oh, shit. These fat Guatemalan bitches is freaky. Oh, she was Hispanic? Shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> Hispanic bitches are crazy. Bro. Yeah, yeah. So, look. I'm like, you know what? I'm a virgin. I ain't getting no action. I'm going to see what this is about. It's the closest I done got to some coochie. So I'm fucking with her for three years. We fucking around. Virginities get lost. All that shit. Virginities get lost. I'm nice to her. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm a great man for this woman. I'm dressing nice. She dressed like shit. But we still fucking around. And girls are flying ass girls is coming up to me like, oh, that's your girlfriend? You so nice for taking her serious. Shit like that. So one day I come in. I'm dressed fly as fuck. It's a Friday. And she's like, yo, I need to talk to you. I want to see what else is out there in the world for me. So I think that we should break up because I want to see, like, you know, other men. I don't want to spend my whole life with one person. And I was like, damn. All right, well, if that's what you want, that's what's going to happen. And I walked away. But while I, I had to walk away immediately because I started crying, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. So after that shit, I was like, man, fuck these fat bitches. Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I respect her for that because she set you free. Like she was, she was below, like she was subpar, my nigga. Like you no, know what I mean? you needed that. She didn't. She didn't set me free because she was subpar. She set me free because she thought she could do better. Let me tell All you. Right, this. So let her think that. No, I let her think that. She went five years without having another sex partner, dude. <laughs> like that shit was crazy. She she couldn't get nobody else because I was looking at her. I'm like, bitch. You know this is it, right? <laughs> the best you could do. That's why I can't date somebody ugly, because I dare you to disrespect me, you ugly fucking bug looking nigga. And the crazy thing is she was such a great person. Like immediately that day, I'm like, damn, she don't look like nothing, but I guarantee you some nigga's gonna think she's a great person or she gonna pull that kiss with the pussy pad move on another nigga and he gonna get hooked. <laughs> yeah, that's is, how she got me. Do you keep in contact? Like, do you know what she's doing right now? Um, so every few months she find out what my phone number is and then <laughs> she hit me up from some random number. So yeah, we stay in touch. But every- <laughs> what did she say? To- what does she look like now? She looked the same. Oh. Yeah, ain't shit changed. She don't got no kids? Uh, not that I, nah, I don't think so. She would like, have to be what having she- sex to have a kid. What does she say to you when she hits you up? Like, hey, how are you? Well, before she was just saying, like, she always used to try to get back with me. Ever since I became, like, moderately famous, she knows to rap for that shit. Yeah, you can't go outside with a bitch looking like that. Yeah, I'm saving myself for Wheezy. Okay. (laughs) Wait, do it again, because I didn't even catch it. (laughs) Where's my camera? Which one is it? On this, over here. Uh, Yeah, I'm (laughs) I'm saving myself for Wheezy, by the way. Or Mandy. (laughs) <laughs> nah, whoever answered first. Uh, is this how niggas is shooting a shot in 2023? No, no, no. I'm not shooting a real shot. You made man. a whole podcast. I got a song about Weezy. Rap that shit. Nah, what, acapella? Insert it right here. I'm a, Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm trying to insert it. Insert, oh. No. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, we got to talk about Slater Vance. Who is Slater Vance? A- a- Angela... Uh, Angela, uh, what the fuck, Angela Bassett's son, and uh, what's her what's her husband's name? Oh, I don't know. Uh, uh, Courtney Vance. You guys have the same name, Courtney. Oh, now everyone how you knows gonna, your name. How you gonna refer to a nigga as Slater? Like who? Like like I'm supposed to know this nigga? All right, so what did Slater Vance do? This nigga per- participated in a, in a white 
a TikTok challenge where you go to your parents and tell them that a famous celebrity died, right? He goes to his mother, Angela Bassett, who just lost uh, Chadwick Boseman, and says, guess what, mom? Uh, Michael B. Jordan's dead at 35. Nigga, you're not supposed to say somebody that your mom knows. Like, that's her A1 day one. That's her man's in them. She starts freaking out. She starts freaking out. She's like, oh, my God, no, no, no. And he's like, no, it's just a joke. Then he comes out with a video. <laughs> he comes out with a video apologizing. And he's like, I'm very sorry for Crying. what I did because it was not a funny joke. And uh, I just want to say that I respect Michael J. Michael B. Jordan and his family. <laughs> and I'm sorry. And I didn't mean to. And he was doing the black boy, just got his ass whooped, cry. Like, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> and I'm dying because I'm like, yo. I bet you, because Angela Bessa is like, she is black woman as fuck. Yeah. I know she tore his ass up. He got his ass beat. It's he got his ass Someone beat. Someone said she turned into Tina Turner real quick. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was Tina Turner in the limo with Ike. Yes. That's fucked up. It's bad enough you a black kid named Slater. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, and mad people, I because you know me, I like to do my investigative thing, so... I found out what his social media profile was. Oh, shit. Yep. Cyber bullied the nigga? No, absolutely not. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not trying to get canceled this early on in my career. I'm doing great things. So I go to his page, and I look on his page. Like, he takes the comments off of, like, everything. But then he leaves the comments on, like, one of his things. And people are like, it's okay, baby. You're young. You're 16. It's okay. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to this one. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing? No, that nigga needed his ass whooped. That's like, a, Michael B. Jordan, your mom knows him, bro. And she just looked, it was taste. Wait, wasn't Angela Bassett in the Black Panther? She played the queen, though. <sighs> she was in. Why are you just now? Picking That's up crazy. Her? Are you high? Yeah, I'm a okay. little high. All right, okay. The thing is, I don't watch movies. Edible. I don't watch movies. But you. Angela. Angela Bassett, she, she been out, man. That's what I'm saying. So, like, and you know she was in Black Panther. I, didn't, I just had to ask to make sure. And she just let, lost Chadwick. So I thought that was really tasteless. Like, yeah. what do you think, T? Isn't that horrible? It's extremely tasteless. I would have tear his ass up. <laughs> and I don't even believe in hitting kids. And I would have hit that kid. You don't believe in hitting kids? Mm -mm. I do. I think I a come lot from of these... an abusive household. Oh, got oh. you. So do I. But I still think these kids come up. I can't. I was, listen, I was abused up to age 15 by my father. But guess what? Sometimes, I, well, I don't think you should like beat the shit out of a kid, like punch your kid in the face, but like a little eh, -da -da <laughs> with a belt. Like sometimes niggas need that. These kids nowadays need that. And that's why Slater Vance was on <laughs> Yeah, <the but> video. <laughs> you got to moderate the ass whooping. You can't be like fighting your kids. No. I feel like I also came from, I wouldn't call it abuse just because I've been conditioned to not call it abuse. Mm-hmm. But we all came from ass whooping okay. houses, and I think us three turned out great. Now we're not the rule; we're the exception, right? Right. However, on like just not whooping your kids, or not you know reprimanding them, you gotta have some type of you gotta put some fear in there. Yeah, you gotta have leverage, yeah. emotional leverage, and it sounds like some slavery shit, but you really gotta have leverage over the kids, or else them niggas is gonna rule you. Them niggas got youth, they got energy over you. All they that got shit. technology. The technology is insane. Nowadays, kids think that they have all this power, and there are some kids who make more money than their parents off of social media. If my kid make more money than me, he got the power. Go on with it, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, dad, take that trash out. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Which one? This trash right here. <laughs> you know what's funny? My ex, he cheated on me with a midget, and little person. They be having the fatty though. Yo, but fuck that bitch. Anyway, they be horny as hell. They dude. do, and he, and you know what? I was like, you know what? I hope you marry her and have kids and your kids don't respect her. <laughs> Why wouldn't they respect her? Because they taller than that bitch. Damn, that's Imagine if up. your kid comes... This is my, This is the perfect scenario for me. The kid comes in late, right? You were supposed to be home at 11. It's 3 a.m. And he just mush her? No, but like, nah, but the mom turns on the light, but to turn on the light, she got to step on a stepping stool. Like, oh. bitch. <laughs> so that bitch in the sink. <laughs> I'm kicking you, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Oh, that's crazy. You gotta, you like, if I have to go and reach for the cookies, 
for you. I'm not listening to you. Put your ass in a laundry bag. You better chill. <laughs> in the dryer? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to respect little people. Man. No, I do have respect for little people. This is um, called the Special yeah, Needs sure. Podcast. It is. So we we champion all uh, marginali- marginalized groups in America. So if you're elderly, if you're black, if you're Latino, if you're Native American, if you are on the spectrum, everything. We love you and we care about you. Also, this sounds like the perfect time to shout out our special needs person of the week. Uh, This week's special needs person of the week, it goes out to my man Portland North. He's a rapper. He's um, paralyzed. None of his limbs work. We got a song together, actually. It's called My Shooter is in a Wheelchair. It's pretty damn good, so uh, check him out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, let him know that. Wow, I didn't know that. That's great information. This is exciting. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. When That's I was great. doing my album last month, he asked me if he could be on it, and I sent him some shit. I swear, this nigga arms do not work, but he recorded all this shit himself in the crib. I went over to his crib because where he live at? Right, like two buildings away from me. So I had to go over there because, um, whatchamacallit, it was a long story. I think I had to cash out this nigga some money, and he was going to give me $40 or some shit like that. So I go over there to get the $40. This so nigga got the headphones on. He got a laptop in his lap, and the mic is bent over to his face. And I'm like, how the fuck are you pressing the buttons? But the nigga had a whole verse for me later on that night. Like, I heard that. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I sneezed and coughed at the same time, but I, I didn't I fart. Heard, I heard you could die if you do that. I did. I heard that. Died. Oh, okay. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you really a comedian? <laughs> Congratulations to my brother and his now fiance. He proposed two nights ago. Congrats to Ali's brother. Love wins. I'm now a, sin- a sister-in-law. Oh, word. Yeah. I wish somebody would marry my sister. Me too. Does she look like you? You said, does she look like me? Mm-hmm. Um. Well, she's older, so do you look like her? No, no, no. We don't look alike at all. She, um, she used to play, like, high school football. She was defense. What the fuck? Yeah, her number was 99, so guess what she looked like? Flag or tackle, please. <laughs> no, no, tackle. <laughs> tackle. It's a big woman. You should do a little shout out for your sister for for the, for the people. Yo, like, what's out. her what's her little pro- profile? Oh, she don't even be on uh, she be on Facebook and shit. She older. Oh, she does she, she go on Facebook live and be like, "We outside at the club, like at the bar and like and there would be two niggas there." And then somebody and her auntie be like, hey, girl, how you doing? She'd be like, hey, Auntie Emily. My sister played football <laughs> in high school. She was the defense. That's not how she talked. Oh, you right. <laughs> we all <also>. said. <laughs> she she talked like me. We just don't look alike. So, I tried uh, to do a guy voice, and it was failed. <laughs> ain't, that, ain't, ain't that a motherfucker. <laughs> so um, you ever did shrooms? Oh. <sighs> Yes, twice. So the first time, um, for all of our listeners, when you do shrooms, it is suggested that you do it in a safe place with people that you love and care about, right? The first time I did shrooms, I was in the Bronx. So that was my first first mistake, right? They don't have any safe spaces in the Bronx. Not near near one. Not one. Second, I did it with my ex, who was a dick and an idiot and a terrible person. Um... He, I did way too much. He gave me a whole eighth. Mm-hmm. And the lady who gave us the shrooms, she was like, don't take the whole bag, right? Just take some of it. And he put the whole thing. He's like, you're not going to feel it. You're a big bitch. Like, you need to da 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 And I was like, okay. Wow. So I I didn't feel it at first. And then I started to feel it. Um, You know, there were like waves, a lot of waves. Um, My cat was like talking to me. Um, and then, like, he decided that it would be... Because, you know, I had ego death. Yeah. So he decided to tell me that he's not that great of a person. He told me that he cheated on me while we were on Shroom. Oh, shit. And I'm sitting there oh crying. I'm crying my eyes out. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Please make it stop. Like, I'm like, it's just so much, right? 
Then his he, his great idea was like call your mentor. At the time, my mentor was Deborah Wilson from um, Mad, yeah, Mad TV. TV. Oh shit! I lost that that night. He told me to call her and ask for um, advice, and I just thought that was a good idea. And I was like, I'm on shrooms and I don't know what to do. Oh, uh, and don't... she was like, What the fuck do you want me to do? And I was like, I don't know. That's what I would have said too, though. And then she, and then I was like, You know what? I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna hang up the phone. Yo, that probably was mad weird. It was. And, like, I, that ruined our relationship forever. That's crazy. Because of him. And I, I was suicidal that night as well because I didn't know how to handle everything that was going on. You know, yeah. it was just really bad. Um, And um, I woke up the next day and I was like, wow, like, this is not the nigga for me. Yeah, at all, no. motherfucker. Like- <laughs> right. And then, so that was that was my first experience with shrooms. And then my second experience, I did it with my aunties, and we were, like, outside in nature, and it was, like, really warm outside, and we was getting lit, and it was a great experience. Like, I saw, like, I was, t- I was talking to Jesus at that point. He was like, you're okay. I was like, my, fir- my first time doing shrooms, it was cool, but it wasn't an ideal situation either. Hmm. So, it's uh, some nigga in my hood, this nigga had the shrooms on deck. He had a bunch of them shits. I go to this nigga crib. His brother is there. Me and his brother, we didn't get along so well, but we always on shrooms. I took them last. They shit start kicking in. These niggas having a good time. My shrooms start kicking in. Both these niggas start joking on me. Oh. I was getting fucking ridiculed, man. And I was just like, damn, man. I'm so high, I can't even say nothing back. So uh, Belly was on, and I kept seeing like different things in the movie. And then some girl called me, and I got up. And I went to go hang out with her. I didn't know she had a bunch of hood niggas at her house. So now I'm like this weird skateboard nigga off the shrooms. I walk in there, there's nowhere to sit. <laughs> I'm like, why? Niggas the- had to do lapsies? Yo, I don't I don't know why she invited me, but the shrooms in my head, it, it made me not care. I sat on the floor Indian style and them niggas started roasting me. I went, <laughs> <laughs> I went to every until the to this day when they see me, they be like, yo, Indian style. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. So I, I first time I took shrooms, I got my ass cut in two locations. <laughs> <laughs> my laugh is so bad. And then the second time I did them. I did them shits at home because I learned my lesson. I was like, I'm going to look in the mirror and cut my ass. Ain't nobody going to say shit about me. So I took them shits, and I was in a bad situation. I had moved back from L.A. I was in an abusive relationship, Mm. and I was just like, fuck, let me just take some shrooms. It's good for depression. So I take the shrooms. I'm like, oh, shit, nigga, you a king. (laughs) You are a fucking king. You got to get your shit together and go back in this world, go back to L.A., do your shit, bro. You are the man. You've been yeah. doubting yourself. So I went back, started doing credit fraud. Life was great. <laughs> you damn skippy. Yeah, actually, the, the drug, the active drug in, in shrooms is a natural serotonin booster. So when you have low levels of serotonin in your brain, obviously that causes depression. Mm-hmm. And when you, you know, AOC, actually, Alexandria Ocasio. Cortez. I'm from the projects, but I'm not of the projects, my nigga. You don't got to break down acronyms. I know what's up. Was actually trying to get it passed for psychologists and, um, excuse me, psychiatrists to um, prescribe to depressive patients in small doses to microdose to naturally raise their levels. That's one thing that I like about shrooms, though. Like, they have a refractory period because they use up so much of your serotonin. You can't do that shit two days in a row, so you no. can't abuse shrooms, no. even if you wanted to. Like, yeah. That's what's so dope about it. It's like a drug that defends itself from being abused, and I like that. Yeah. But I definitely feel like I overdosed that first night. Like, I feel like it was just way too much. Or maybe yeah. it's just like, I mean, I, I shouldn't have done it with that nigga either. Like, he's he's of hell. Like, that, even that apartment was just, like, devilish. One time, this nigga burned sage, and the sage blew up in black smoke. No. Right. Right. And I told my grandma that my grandma's a pastor, and she was like, you need to get out of there, baby. Yo, Erica Badu would have fucked that nigga up. Yo. <laughs> Yo, facts. She would have peace and blessings manifesting all over that nigga ass. <laughs> facts. For sure. Yo, it blew up in black smoke, and like it was flaming. And I was like, oh my God, I have to leave. So you ignore red flags. I w- did in the past. Now I don't. 
Like if you come over, right? If a guy comes over and Avon doesn't like him, you you're you're dead to me. Mm, see, I'm a complete opposite. I fucking like I can't ignore a red flag. Not only that, after dealing with a very abusive relationship, everything is a red flag. Like let's say me and you started dealing with each other. Let's say we fuck, we wake up the next day, you make breakfast and you put parsley on something. <laughs> If you use parsley, I'm fucking leaving. Red flag. Oh, my God. For sure. <laughs> the parsley bitch. The fucking parsley bitch. Bitches can't garnish, garnish plates no more. Yo, nah, I you put can't parsley garnish. on top of my fucking big macaroni and cheese sometimes. For what? What it taste like? It's just, it looks nice. All right. But the it it, it tastes good internally. That, that the, you know what? I need you to heal from that no, experience. That. Let I'm me tell you why. I'm not about to be out here eating vegan glitter. No. <laughs> Sorry, Wolf. No. <laughs> no, see, the thing is, is that, like, not every bitch who uses parsley is going to treat you bad. That's what I want you to know. It's a sign of... She can't cook. She couldn't cook. I can cook. That bitch couldn't cook. She was using parsley to season things. Like, it, make it whipping eggs, right? Mm -hmm. And not putting no salt or pepper or whatever, adobo on it. And thinking that you're going, oh, shit, the hoes going to love this. Put parsley on it? It's crazy. That bitch had issues. Now, if I do some shit like that, I'm whipping up the eggs, and I'm like, oh, let me put some parsley in this bitch? Yes, that is a red flag. Because then that means a bitch can't cook. What's your purpose if you can't cook? Candace Owens was talking. Candace Owens was like, Kunis, Kundis Owens. Oh, shit. Because we know she's with the coonery. But she was spitting on this podcast. She was like, I don't understand why you ain't going to feed your husband if he's hungry. If my husband asks me to make him a sandwich, I'm going to make him a sandwich. Like, what the fuck? That's real shit. And I like seeing my nigga eat. Like, I'll suck your dick while you eating waffles. That's crazy. Have a little have a little syrup dripping down your chin. If it's parsley on them waffles, <laughs> I won't even get hard. <laughs> why would there be parsley on waffles? Oh, I've had parsley on motherfucking waffles. Trust me. I had parsley and ramen, parsley She's and ramen devil. soup. Oh, she is. She's no, she's just of of devil. But what can what Candace Owens is saying, I think she don't understand certain things. Like the disrespect doesn't come in the nigga wanting food. The disrespect comes in the nigga expecting food. Anytime people expect certain shit from other people, that shit becomes the least like thing that they want to do the least. Mm. So whether yeah. you can cook or not, if you be like, let's say somebody. You know, come in the crib and it's like, yo, why isn't my dick sucked? Yeah. Ain't nobody sucking that dick. Yeah, you got all day dick. Yeah. No, what I'm saying is when oh. you expect your dick sucked, you less likely to get a dick sucked. That's true. Absolutely. Yeah. This nigga spin. <laughs> so I feel like that's the thing. Like some women, they'll like, you know, they deal with niggas who expect them to cook. Once you expect a chick to cook, that's like saying it's her job. Yeah. So it's like, nigga, please, you know. Yeah, I mean, and a woman like me, because, you know, we're in this whole renaissance period, you know, like, you know, these are master's degree titties, and I'll be outside, you know, making jokes and shit, like, I make moves. It would be nice sometimes to have a man, you come home to a man who cooks for you, you know what I'm saying, and massages your feet, but I do think there's give and take, you know what I'm saying, like, you have to, when he comes home, massage his feet sometimes, like, just, just give to each other, like, that's how a successful relationship happens, you know what I'm saying, mm. like, I I don't know. I and I think this whole new wave of women like, you know, they're just like, "Oh, I deserve this and I deserve that." Like, bitch, okay, but so does he. If that's right. your man, you chose him. You chose that nigga. Master think about it. Y'all chose each other. Master's degree titties. Yeah. It's cool. I got diploma dick. <laughs> <laughs> GED dick. <laughs> <laughs> right? The equivalency cock. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, don't refer to your dick as a cock because you're black. We don't do that over here. That's true. Oh, well, um, my great 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 grandfather was Irish. Got a little cock in your blood. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mech cock. <laughs> it's an old cock. <laughs> oh my God. Damn, oh, I forgot what the fuck I was going to say. <laughs> You said what you needed to say. That shit was funny as fuck. Um, okay. Oh my God. Okay. So I don't even know how this came up. We were what the fuck were we talking about? I don't remember, but 
This is when I lived in Flatbush. I lived in Flatbush two years ago. No, a year ago. Flatbush is the worst place ever, by the way. I just want to say that out loud. Um, I lived on a, a block called Regent Place, and it's right, it's like a the, the right perpendicular to King's Theater. What that mean? I don't know. It just sounded good at the perpendicular point. is like across the street. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> Like you just say across the street, nigga. And it was very, very hood. Like that block is like one of the hoodest blocks in the fucking city. Mm-hmm. Um, like it's so hood that at eleven o'clock p.m. I come home one day, and I see four niggas bashing in somebody's car with bats. Eleven at night. Yes, that's some three a.m. activity. Mm. Eleven p.m. It's Brooklyn. Yo, that shit was crazy. Anywho. Boom, I'm walking Avon one day, it was during the day, and I meet this um, Asian lady, and she has a dog, and she's holding her cat. And I'm like, oh, that's cute. Like, my cat doesn't come outside. You know what I'm saying? The cat she's was homeless. chilling. Huh? Yeah, I said she homeless. No, no, no. She li- No, no, no. They have, a, they have a house. They have an apartment. Um, So the dogs are the same age, so they're playing Avon with the puppy. He loves other animals. She's like, you should come over one day, you know? Um, I we have a whole bunch of animals in the house, and I was like, "Oh, for real? Where? That's what's up?" She's like, "Yeah, we have rats too." Oh shit! And I was like, "Oh, like oh, in like the cage or something? Like oh, you have like yeah, like a tank, like yeah, you domesticated." Tank. She was like, rats. "Yeah, but I let them run around the house too." I hear that, do little. And it was at that moment that I no longer ever wanted to speak to her again. <laughs> Bitch, yeah. you got rats running in your crib? That's Easily. insane. Brooklyn already has a rat problem. That's fucking crazy. And you got rats in your crib? That's disgusting. That shit ain't that bad, though. Like, No, it is. And she thought, like, she she thought, oh, the hoes gonna love this. Look, like, <laughs> <laughs> look, I got rats, too. I was like... She she probably thought you liked animals. Yo, like her. you want to know what I did? I was like, I, I lol. She texted me that she was like, yeah, the rats are running around too, and I was like, lol. And she was like, what's so funny? Oh shit! And I was like, you said you have rats, and she was like, yeah. Did and she act- started naming their names and shit. Oh shit! Uh, did you ask if they was white? The rats? Yeah, if they white, then that's probably like you know, that's cool. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Those are like science rats. <sighs> No, either like first off, she has a cat. How you got a cat and then rats running around? The cat gonna kill one of them goddamn rats. Shit, some of the rats I've seen might be able to kill that cat. <laughs> <laughs> Word. But yo, the most the ghetto ghettoest place I've been to, and I'm from the projects in the projects. Mm-hmm. The ghettoest place I've been to is East Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Yo, facts. I buy a mistake booked an Airbnb in East LA. And I forget who I was talking to, but they were like, cancel that booking now. And I was like, really? It's so cheap. And they were like, there's a reason why. Cancel it now. And I was like, fuck, okay. That's crazy. I used to manage a dispensary in South Central. And, like, I didn't know what it looked like at night my first day going there. I, it was just, you know, a blind arrival. My interview was at a McDonald's in Hollywood. So I should have known that something was up. Yeah, that's first, horrible. First day I go to I get out the car. I see two red flags immediately. I see stray dogs and I see a vacant lot. <laughs> this is like 2018. I hadn't seen a vacant lot since like 98, my nigga. Like that's that's real red flags. Putting parsley on eggs is not that bad. Like when you say <laughs> two stray dogs and a vacant lot, that's insane. In America, like are you fucking kidding Yo, me? Yo, that's what I'm saying. The shit look like fucking like Fallujah or some shit like that. Like it was real bad. <laughs> But I go in there anyway, and it's just like the shit used to be an old laundry mat and shit like that. Like it was just a shitty, shitty place. But East Los Angeles, weirdest fucking place ever, man. They'll make you a hot dog on the sidewalk, no cart, no nothing. Is there parsley on the hot dog? I'm gonna just keep going. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead with this parsley. Shit. I think for Halloween, this gonna year? dress up as parsley. I fuck you up. Stop playing with me. <laughs> I'm a kind of bitch. Like. Yeah, you, you big enough for us to throw these shits, yo. Stop playing. <laughs> Talk about some, you didn't even finish the sentence, but you better not. Like, don't even threaten. Don't play with parsley. <laughs> Damn, I got to remove it when you come over. That shit crazy. 
My birthday is coming up, though. If you could give me the sheet music for Thoya Thoying, that'd be crazy. When's your birthday? Tell the people. November 14th. <laughs> His birthday is not. Everybody's going to know your real birthday. No, yeah, they will. I'm going to give out my birthday eventually. If I get famous enough, they could Google it. I'm just going to tell them right now. Tell them. It's on Tuesday. We going up. Good answer. On Tuesday, we are going to be featured on the 25 and Over podcast with Billy. Why are you even saying that? This shit going to come out after that. Or well, probably, before. yeah, my fault. Go ahead. You know what? Never mind. I said, oh, damn. So what you, what else? What, 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 what you got in your nose? <laughs> so um, I just saw on Spiritual Word that this. Damn, these niggas paying you? Get off spiritual word nuts. <laughs> that shit blow my mind. <laughs> I saw on Instagram that, oh, Instagram's not paying me either, but, well, they will start. Anyways, anyways, God, uh, just let me finish. Oh, so fuck mean. spiritual word, but God. Oh, God. Okay, all right. I saw in the news, all right? Let's just say that the news, all right? Fucking A. Just cut that out. Because <laughs> this nigga sucks. I hate him. Uh, fucking. I do kind of want to put my nipple in the middle of your spider web, though. Yeah, we we could arrange some. Okay. Anyways, um, so I saw that this guy goes in. It's in Texas, of course, because Texas has a lot of gun violence because they're idiots. Mm-hmm. Um. That's so, oh up. damn! Thank God. <laughs> I just thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It's so crazy today. Uh, All right. So, te- so te- Texas, te- right? They're in a they're in a diner. It's late night. And some guy comes in with a gun, and he's like, everybody, give me all your belongings, all the patrons. He's like, give me your wallet, all of that, right? As he's doing that, he's about to walk out. Uh, A patron gets up and shoots him eight times. And then shoots him one more time, point blank, right? Shot the shit out that nigga. He shot the shit. God damn. (laughs) R.I.P. Rasheed Thurman, bro. Word. Shot the Uh shit out of that. So I watch it, and I'm like, in the video, he's a lighter-skinned man, the patron that shot him. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, let me see what he looked like. That motherfucker looks, he looks like Wapower. The one that shot him? Yeah. So all these details come out, right? They show his car, like, because they they had a um, camera out front. It's like an old school, like, I'm hunting naggers car, like, truck. Mm -hmm. Like, it's rusty and old, like, 1970s. Mm Mm-hmm. And he got on the um, the orthotic ones, boots on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, realistically, so he's, he's in the wrong. Because the guy was leaving, and he didn't have to kill him. He didn't have to shoot to kill. He could have shot him in the leg. Mm -hmm. He shot the shit out of him. He looks so racist, the guy. So then come to find out, the police examined, like, the the robber. Mm -hmm. And the gun was plastic. He never. It wasn't even a real gun. That's the fuck you get for playing. Yeah, no. But fuck around and find out, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. But I, it's crazy that he shot him that many times. Why are you doing stick ups in Texas? That's true too. Niggas be blicked up in Texas. Nah, that's, that's facts. Like the kids be blicked up, the teachers be blicked up. That's Everybody facts. got guns. You like no, go break in somebody. Don't even break in nobody's house. Yeah, you just right. don't steal nothing in Texas, bro. Nah, yeah, he got shot the fuck up. Like he shot him, shot him. And so now the police are like, can anyone come forward? Like they want the guy to come forward. I'm like, with their investigative technology nowadays, you can find that white man. They yeah. want they want the, the white nigga to come forward. Man, free my nigga Billy Joe. He ain't do nothing, bro. Don't don't come forward. Fuck these niggas. The bro. comments, I always go to the comment section and some people were like, Okay, so per the law, if someone so if someone's leaving the scene, yeah. you can you can do time for that because they're walking away. Mm-hmm. But if like if he'd have shot him as soon as he pu- the kid pulled the gun out and killed him, then that would have been okay because he was defending everyone. But the fact that the kid was already leaving, and then so some people were like, okay, so this is what happened too. So after he shot the kid down, mm-hmm. he takes everybody's belongings out and hands them back to the people. Damn, so I'm like, okay, maybe he's not racist because they were black people. They were all black people. He was only black. He was the only white person in there. Yeah, but I'm like. Well, they go your answer right there. If the nigga the only white person eating with all these black people, he not, he racist. not racist. Yeah, you're right. Well, we I don't he probably know. was cool as shit. 
Yeah, true. He did give everybody back this stuff. I ain't gonna front. I look racist too. <laughs> Where? I, I look like I don't fuck with some people. I ain't gonna say which one. Texas but... sucks. <laughs> 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 that shit don't sound like Texas sucks to me. That should sound like I should be in Texas because in New York, let that be in New York. You said it was what, a diner? Yeah. Everybody in a diner. Somebody come in and rob one nigga. He walk in. Matter of fact, the nigga come in and rob everybody. He robbed everybody. Hold on, let's say we in a diner in New York. The oh, nigga yeah. come in and rob everybody, right? The nigga on his way out. Ain't nobody about to shoot that nigga. Don't nobody got a gun on him. No. So like, I don't know, man. I'm I'm rooting for this white nigga. If he really shot the shit out this nigga, and this nigga was in there doing dumb shit, I'm rooting for the white nigga. Yeah, it's true. And then they were like, the kid was like in his early twenties, like he was young. And I was just like, you know, I I don't have much sympathy for the young man because it's like that you play stupid. You cannot fuck around these days. Because if you fuck around, the more you fuck around, you really are gonna find out. And he found out. Okay. Regard and you have a plastic gun. Like, that's insane. Like, people are scared, right? You can't just be going up into a spot talking about give me all your belongings anymore. Yeah. And you got a gun in Texas? That's what I'm saying. You don't bring a dildo to a dick fight. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's, it's crazy. Because the dick is always going to win. You damn skippy. I think. I've never been to a dick fight. <laughs> I've had I've had strap on dick. And it's, it's, it's. It's exhilarating, but it's it's not. Like it's it's only fun because oh, there are titties, but like you can get a re- you can get a real dick with titties too. You know, it just gets you a, a chubby nigga. Ah, noted. Yeah, I know. See, I don't know, man. Like, I got a homegirl. She's um she's a lesbian. She's one of the ones. Oh, masculine presenting. That's what they call themselves. Oh. So. Yeah, yeah. There are so many things that like I'm just not up on. I'm like, oh, she's a dyke. I just found out I was cis het. Excuse me. <laughs> I said I just found out I was cis het. Cis het. Yeah, cisgender heterosexual. I, I just thought that shit was called regular. Straight. <laughs> yeah, that's what I called it. That shit was regular yeah, to like, me. Like I'm just like flavor. <laughs> 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 God damn. I did the laugh again. I did the jovial. fucking laugh. You are jovial. We love oh, yeah. I love black boy joy. Of course, yeah. I love funny women. Like, the two of them that exist in the world, <laughs> they always make me laugh. <laughs> you think women is funny? I think there are some funny women. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. One of my they favorite exist. female comedians is Wanda Sykes. Yeah, but you see how you got to say female comedian? Well, you asked me, do you think women are funny? So yeah, but you can just say one of your favorite comedians. Right, but you, this is a specific conversation about women being funny. Don't talk to me like that, all right, my nigga? (laughs) (laughs) The fuck is she talking to? It's not, just flew out my nose. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) She has this joke about, like, how her and her wife went on this cruise ship, and they didn't realize that it was a gay nigga cruise ship, (laughs) and they went into a... They went into a, a hot tub and it was like a uh, butt bouillon in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> a butt bouillon. <laughs> to this day, yo, Wanda Sykes is one of the funniest females yo. in the world. She's so fucking funny. And she's so intelligent, too. You know, she writes for Curb Your Enthusiasm. And, yeah. Uh, you know, she does a lot of writing. I think she's genius. And she's had a long career. Like, her longevity is like... She Not needs yet. her flowers at all times. Shout out to Wanda Sykes. I also think Leslie Jones is hilarious. And she's a very cool person. Yeah, she look hilarious. Yeah, she. you ain't shit. Nah, Leslie Jones is hilarious. She is. She has a great... Per- like, like as a person, though, like, I've met her on a couple different occasions, and she's just mad chill. But I feel like... I don't know. Like, if, if I was Leslie Jones, I wouldn't let them keep, like, casting me as, like, the big, ugly, invasive bitch. Because I feel like they keep doing that to her. Money is money, though. You know what? For the right price, you can call me whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. You are completely right. I, w- I would actually... I-, I would become Leslie Jones for the right price. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, another funny female comedian, Just Nesh, or Just Nish, however you say her name. Is she Indian? Nah, she's black. And she's from... I want to say she's from the Midwest. And she is the funniest human being ever. She's hilarious. 
please go follow her. She's so funny. You gotta, fo- bro. She's hilarious. Mm. Okay. That's why I don't watch the WNBA. Like, you ever seen a windmill <sighs> in the WNBA? Dunk contest, All Star Weekend, none of that shit. No. Yeah. But there are women who are dunking now, like multiple, not just two. It used to be Sylvia Fowles and Brittany Griner. Now it's multiple. Oh, and Candace Parker. Candace Parker could dunk. Yeah, but they just be doing them little poop poop dunks. I touch the rim. I want, I want to see a bitch throw it off the backboard. Okay, you'll see that soon. They, they these new bitches is built different. I just seen a girl who was like fifteen years old, <laughs> da, 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 like yamming it. I was like, oh shit, that That's bitch. Crazy. I bet y'all ball her up though. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, we know. <laughs> I don't even play any sport. You you look like you just like sports. Like, like you know people who are unathletic and don't know anything about you sports. You can play a mean blackjack, Courtney. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's yeah. So yeah. Nice. I play competitive chess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't even know how to like bet at all. You when don't? I was yeah, when I was in college, we had to like I signed my life away for four years because I played uh, D one and D two basketball, but I was on a full scholarship at both schools. And you're not allowed to bet. Like, and I, you know what? I'm sure people did it on the slide, but like, I never wanted to get caught. Like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't smoke weed, nothing. Like, I was really, I mean, I drank, but like, I was, I didn't do no drugs or nothing like that. Cause like, all I thought was, and this is the thing about, here we go. Full circle. Even though my mother did not beat my ass, I respect the fuck out of my mom. Mm-hmm. And I could not imagine going home and being like, mom, I lost my scholarship because I got caught smoking weed. She's gonna beat everything out of me <laughs> you a grown-ass woman it doesn't matter it's it it, it it well she probably wouldn't beat me but she would she would be so disappointed and in that disappointment i could not handle it like i i literally throughout college i was like oh fuck this i'm not doing that i think that's why i always like just did the bare minimum in life because i really like i be breaking shit down <laughs> no, I have great expectations. I'm, I'm, I'm like the successful sibling. I can't. No, me I'm, too. I just my didn't. parents can't have two failed kids. No, nah, see, that's the thing with me. Like, I'm, I'm, I just succeeded like by luck. Yeah. Hey, is your brother gonna watch this episode? They, fuck that. Oh, okay. <laughs> It'd be alright. Oh shit. To you. He's experienced worse things. I love him though. He's my best friend. Hey, bro. I didn't. I didn't say none of this shit. <laughs> That's her. I'm wearing his. I'm always representing 888 Mac. Uh, 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 uh. That's his. Uh, they pay for that. Well, he's my brother. He ain't my brother. <laughs> 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 Shit. I don't know that nigga. Shout out yes. to you, bro. I hope you get yours, but not from me. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about something I'm always wearing. That 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 that. Did it that? We ain't no. Shit, in fact, I ain't getting paid for none of this shit. Um, what about what is it that you wanted to talk about with phone sex? Oh, why? Why do people have phone sex? Yeah, like the thing. Oh, matter of fact, no, I know why people do it. I got something better than that. Oh, because I was watching this thing on Vice. They had this thing about it's called like one eight hundred sex, some shit like that. And they was talking about the phone sex industry and how it started and how people was buying nine hundred numbers and shit. And it just reminded me at the time, yo, I don't care. I'm an adult now. It's been over 20 years. I can't admit this shit. Um, Dad, that was me. That was me that called that 1-900 number. I ran up the phone bill. The phone bill was like $800. Oh, I thought you were going to say you called your father and pretended to be a woman. No, 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 no. <laughs> I called the 1-900 number, and I was on that shit, like on that shit. And then I called that shit two days in a row after that, right? Phone bill came. That shit was eight hundred dollars. Them niggas was trying to figure out who did it, cause naturally my stepmother gonna think my father did that shit. Mm. She came to the realization that he wouldn't, he wouldn't have did that shit. He would have did it from his cell phone and just paid it and hid it from her. Right. So now it come down to the kids. How many of it was there? It was just me and my stepsister, and I damn sure blamed that shit on my stepsister. And they questioned her ass so much, so she admitted to the shit, right? And then they told me that she admitted to the shit. And I was just like, cool. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking, you, you dirty motherfucker. But yo, the crazy thing was, like, I used to do all types of shit over there because I didn't live over there. I used to just spend the weekends over there. So I used to just fuck shit up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, just fuck shit up and leave. I'd be, like, in the bathroom. Oh, I got to spit. I don't want to move my dick out the way. <laughs> right on the wall. <laughs> 
You fuck shit up. And- <laughs> Wait like a minute. Mess. Yeah, that's um. You got yeah. some chromosomes loose. <laughs> no, for sure, for sure. Some of them shits is loose. But well, that's why this is the special needs podcast. Yeah. Yeah, you're but, special. Who yeah, does so shit like that? I, I, I was watching that shit. And I'm like, damn, for the phone bill to be seven hundred, eight hundred dollars, whatever the shit was, and this was like, like I'm like, this is like 2002 or some shit like that. So that's that's <laughs> crazy, yo. So I, I personally like now we're in the age of FaceTime and all that. Mm-hmm. I don't. First of all, I think pussies are weird looking. That's number one. That's crazy. Um, people have told me that I have a beautiful vagina, but like I'm just like it's a vagina. Like, what do you mean? Like, there's flaps, there's a clitoris. It's weird. No, nah, that shit cool, right? Um, <laughs> but I I don't want to have phone sex. Like, it's weird. Like, first off, I don't like the faces that I make when I'm having sex, anyways. So that's number one. <laughs> like, what kind to, of faces? Like I like if I'm really enjoying the dick, like. I'm gonna make some faces, like especially like if choose it's... one, make one. No, no, I just one. Tea, one. you freaky ass bitch. I want to know. Like, yeah, I'm faces. curious. You know yeah. what you love making faces look like. <laughs> I don't know, like you know, but when when I do have sex in the mirror, though, I try to like play, like I try to be cute, like I be like, <sighs> like pull my hair. That's that's the cute. I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it right now. Like I'm not having sex. Is it a thiz face? <laughs> Uh, that is the face that it would be ugly. Like nigga said, the thiz face. Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> like I don't, I don't know. But like, I don't want to have phone sex. Like, there are guys that be like, "Yo, show me your pussy." You on Facetime? It's like what? Especially if like I just woke up. Like I don't like morning sex. Yeah, me neither. I be having to pee. Yeah, that I I just be peeing on niggas at this point. It don't matter. But um, that's crazy. <laughs> little squirt, little pee, little squirt, little pee. <laughs> P skirt, P skirt. <laughs> um, <laughs> damn, I'm crazy. Um, I don't like morning sex because what do you typically do when you get up in the morning? It's two reasons, right? One, one, you have morning breath, right? You have morning breath because you know you probably had sex the night before. You probably, you know, and you sucking dick, eating ass all night. So now, you know, you just have last night's dick and balls on your breath and like sleep if i eat your ass and you make my breath stink i'm not eating your ass <laughs> no it doesn't make your breath stink but it just tastes like ass like it just tastes like body body thing <laughs> i don't know like i don't know whatever anyway. once the smells marinate i know what you mean yeah thank you exactly like you just eat ass and then go to sleep like you're you're gonna wake up and it's gonna smell like last night's ass so it's that. So then, like, and niggas in the morning, y'all always love doing missionary. It's like, damn, like, I don't want to smell your breath. So then, nah, you supposed to fuck from the side during morning sex, right? Or front, right? Or from the back? But then in the morning, typically, nah, yeah. I, you you have to go poop. So now you have the morning farts. Now you have to clench your butt cheeks while niggas hitting it. Then morning sex is solely for you guys. I do not, cause I have to fart. Like I need to fart. I let chicks fart during sex. If, if <laughs> I used to go over this guy's house all the time, and I would just like as soon as I left and I would get in my car, it would be like a fart fest. It would be like <laughs> that's crazy because <laughs> it's like I was holding it in. Sometimes I can't sleep at night because I like I know one of my body like lets itself go. Like once I get into REM, nigga, it's gonna be a fart f- fest. I I like girl sleep farts. You nasty. Niggas with gaps always like farts. You want a bitch to fart in the middle of your gap. Just <laughs> go to the back of your throat. <laughs> now. Go choke a little bit. I never said that to you. <laughs> I never said that to you. However, you right. You, I know. I like, know like, I'm always right. The thing is, I'm tired of being fetishized <laughs> yeah. for my gap. Because I go on Instagram live and chicks go, oh, you ever thought about putting a clip between your gap? And I'm just like. No, that's not what this is for, bitch. <laughs> this is a space in my teeth. I never thought about using it for sexual reasons. <laughs> you know that there are tribes in Africa where that's like a like a signature of their tribal connection. Like when they have a gap, yeah, it's like you're part of that tribe, and it's actually really powerful. So maybe you're part of that tribe. No. Okay. Let me tell you how I got the gap. It's a fun, it's not a funny story, but it is a story. Okay. So um. I was in the bathtub, I slipped on some soap, and I hit my whole fucking shit on the side (laughs) of the tub, right? Mm -hmm. So that shit broke some shit up there, the teeth up there split, and, like, it it knocked some shit around. 
So basically, there's like something in the middle of these two teeth. So when they grew down, they grew out. And then I had a gap. But yeah, if I would have never broke my nose that day, I wouldn't have a gap. That's why I got a funny looking nose too. Wait, so <laughs> can it be fixed? Like, can you get braces or no? I can get like a whole surgery, but I'm rocking with the gap, man. People be talking about they clitoris and shit like that. <laughs> so. Let me put my clit in between your gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, I'm used to seeing it, so it's cool to me. Like, I don't got no issue with it. Yeah, I mean, you're not ugly. It sure never was. It, it never gave ugly. <laughs> it gave, I'll suck the fart at your ass, though. No, yeah, I would. I've been <laughs> eating ass since 9-11. <laughs> Did 9-11 trigger the ass eating? <laughs> I got to stop using that as my okay. fucking point of reference. Trauma response? Nah, nah, nah. Like, what is that? What? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? What you was doing Dramatic on 9 11? I was in third grade, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're younger than me. I was in like fifth. She was eating ass in fifth grade. It was grade. Best Star. You ever been to Best Star? Yeah, but like, when did you lose your virginity? Oh, years later, years later. I was, we was just. Oh, doing... you started with ass eating. No, you don't. Nobody starts with ass eating. So, what was you doing first? Play pussy, finger popping, shit like that. You know, I was a nasty kid. I was I was exposed to sex at a very young age. Yeah, me too. But tell me your story. Oh, well, I was molested as a child. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I was Fuck. Like, this could go anywhere. anyway. Yeah, it was like went that way. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's not funny. Um. Shout out to all the people who have no, oh, 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 experienced oh. these things. At, I I went to therapy for years and I've healed from it. Um, it's not a joke. I but thought you was about to shout out the creepy nigga. That's no, 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 no. It wasn't like a that. guy. Either. Well, it was multiple. It was it was a couple. It was my cousin and one of her friends. My cousin was years older than me, and she molested several of us. And her and her friends would do that. Damn, bitch yeah. is weird. Hey, bitch, you she, weird. Just yeah, know she that. is a weird bitch. Fuck that bitch. And now she can't have kids. So, hmm, karma. Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could cut that out. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was, I was exposed to sex at a very young age. See, now my story is different. I, I didn't get abused, but um, we had a legal cable when I was like. About three, four years old. Illegal what? Illegal cable. You know oh, the, illegal. Yeah, the hot, the hot box. You know about the hot box? Nope, I had that. Yeah, she know. Oh, yeah, I'm All the porn channels. Ways. Yeah, so they had this thing where the History Channel is the History Channel during the day, but at night that shit turned into like Playboy or the Spice Network or some shit. It's weird. Oh. So, we hanging out in there. It's like a, some type of holiday mad family. So my stepsister's in the room. The room is locked. I'm banging on the door to come in there. She let me in there. She like a year older than me or some shit like that. So she flicking through the channels. She stopped on the porno channel. Mm -hmm. And she just started watching it. And I turned around like, hey, I don't think you're supposed to be watching this shit. This shit is not cool. It was cool, though. But then I started feeling like, you know, my beef was like beefing, you know? <laughs> my beef. Yeah. When guys call their dick beef, it's always weird to me because it just give it, it reminds me of Western beef. Yeah, it's like Wagyu. Don't trip. Oh. Yeah. You got Wagyu beef? <laughs> <laughs> so, look. <laughs> my shit started, you know, and I was just like, you know what? I don't know what this situation is, but I like this. So, we just watched porn for like, I want to, it had to be like 10 minutes. It felt like an hour. <laughs> and then. The dick was throbbing. Yeah, but we always would just keep watching porn after that. Like, for some reason, I'll go it in the room. It was a bonding thing. Yeah, it was so weird. Because, like, we don't even speak about the shit now. It's like we both forgot. But niggas was watching porn. That shit was mad weird. It, it is weird. I have questions. So when you guys would watch it, would you guys talk about it? Like, oh, damn, he really he really, he really, really in that ass right now. Or no, just watch that's it. the weird Y'all just sit there in silence and watch porn together. In silence. And the crazy thing is. You guys are both serious. Like, let's say I'm. Let's, <laughs> what? Huh. Serial killers. <laughs> Let's say Credit I'm like four years old. Bodies. When I'm like four, what is it, ninety five? And then the phone sex shit happened in like oh two. So we talking about like seven years of watching porn, yo. Cause wow. by that time I blamed it on her because they done caught this bitch watching porn. So I'm like, oh no, it's the nasty bitch. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> what how is she doing in life now? Um 
Yo, she be doing very well randomly. Like I called her to um borrow fifty dollars. <laughs> and she was like, Here's a hundred and fifty. No, that bitch was in London. Oh. I was like, what you doing in London? She's like, oh, I just got pickpocketed. I'm like, damn, bitch, you're doing good. They say success or a sexual energy, um, you can channel that for success. And people with a lot of sexual energy tend to be successful. There it is. That's, That's why I'm doing well in life right now. That's why. Because I love penis and dick. So there's a difference. Because <laughs> penis is like, penis is responsible, right? Yeah. Penis has a copay. They have dental insurance. They have benefits. They have dental yeah, insurance. They have 401k. Care, provide all that. Yep. And, and, you know, a union dick, right? That's, it's responsible. Right? Mm-hmm. It, it has a job. Um, it provides for the family. I mean, excuse me, penis. Uh, yeah. But dick is, it's, you know, it's risky, right? He might not have a job. He might not have eaten in a couple of days. He smokes weed all day. Um, He's probably a, a, an athlete, basketball player, dick. Damn, I got pee-pee. <laughs> 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 what is that? <laughs> well, as far as length, wow, here we go. Let's go with like, all right, so you know what a can of tuna looks like, right? How it's like an inch tall, but it's girthy as fuck. You have a chode? No, it's not a chode. Oh. It's like a can of tuna. Can of tuna is round, Courtney. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out. So you're saying that your dick is the girth of a. That's different. Oof. But we only we only reaching about an inch. That's that's how bitches get BV. It's like cat food. That's true. That's how bitches get BV. When you got big old dick and you just like slanging it all the time. I had this one guy, right? Dick huge. His dick is like 10 inches long and it's like a Coke bottle can. That's crazy. I think I ain't leave no pussy left. Not near a pussy left. <laughs> and one time I was sucking it. He was like, yo, you sucking the fuck out of this dick. He was like, can I hit you over the head with it? I said, I am going to get a concussion. <laughs> and I don't know how in. I'm supposed to explain that to my insurance provider. How I don't to get think a con- they cover that. I, they don't. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, oh, I got slapped with a dick. You might have to go through his insurance. <laughs> <laughs> but he had dick, so he didn't have none. Uh, yeah. So I'm like, this is not, I don't, <laughs> I don't think this is a smart exchange. I'm going to not, I'm going to say no, no, uh, you cannot hit me over the head with your We got to figure out something else for elephant titus call dick. mine. Cause I got like beyond penis. <laughs> That's what Wolf got vegan ass. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't got impossible dick. <laughs> Plebis. <laughs> That's crazy. You over here g- <laughs> you giggling ass nigga. <laughs> and they go over there like, yup. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas think y'all funny over there. Uh, y'all WTF media niggas, bro. How, why y'all give me this big ass couch? You look fine on the couch. You do. You I look, look big like on this couch. But you are big. Yeah, but. I hate when big niggas be like, oh, I look big. Nigga, you big. Yeah, but this is a lot of couch. Yeah, you a lot of nigga. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> like, what? It's like, ask stupid questions, say stupid things, and you gonna get answers, nigga. Nah, when I first sat down, I was like, damn, these niggas gave me all this couch. That's crazy. But now that you explained it like that, it make a lot of sense. I know. I break things down. These are master's degree titties. <sighs> <laughs> you ain't even finished paying for your master's degree, my no. nigga. That shit ain't even yours. First of all, <laughs> I, I graduated, so that shit is mines. Yeah, well, no. Speaking of mines, you got it's, your it's mine. On One, it's mine. No. E- <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is wrong with you? Y'all school niggas be thinking y'all the shit. Fuck we are. You just I have a lot of debt now. Y'all niggas be bragging about a piece of paper. Okay. An expensive ass piece of paper. It got me a promotion at my job, though, so don't hate on somebody else's child. Uh, all right. That's fair enough. Should I talk about my New Year's Eve experience on, on camera? Yeah, happy New Year's. New Year. I have a question, <laughs> a real quick question. Please. Because I was working this other podcast. I think you guys would be a funny collaboration. They're called Empty Thoughts. It's funny. That you're oh, but you can bleep yeah. that out if you want, because you don't want to shout out another podcast. No, but no, I know her. You shouted cool. out 18 million podcasts. Cause it's empty. <laughs> well, they had a question at the end of their show. It was like, when you were born and you went through your mother's vaginal canal, do you think your mouth was open? 
Mm. Good question. I think mine was because A, I wasn't even supposed to be born at that time. I was I was a preemie. And B, I came out screaming. Like I I I'm so loud. Like I probably my my mouth probably was open and my mom likes to remind me that she shit on my head. <gasps> That's crazy. When, cause you know your body is, she's pushing you out. She's like, I, I shouldn't pissed on you guys. Just wanna let you know. I'm like, damn, that's why I pee on niggas now. Anyways, proceed. With me, I'm such a cool nigga. When I think about my birth, I think about it like, just dramatized as fuck. Like, I know my mother couldn't shave her coochie, so it's probably hairy. So I feel like I would have used the coochie hair as like wrestling curtains, and I would have came out to my music. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make? I think the banner, the banner, the banner, banner. I think you need to make a song about that. <laughs> like, I please make a please make a rap about that. That would be hilarious. Coochie curtain, coochie like, especially like after the Michael. conversation that me, you, and your mother had this week. Oh, yo, I'm gonna tell the whole please world. Tell this the whole shit. world. I was gonna say it earlier, but then I was like, it's not my. Story, That's not though. your fucking story. Not you better my... not. <laughs> All right, calm. Nigga, I didn't tell it. Like, damn, I said I'm going to let you respect tell Respect my mother. Calm down. Only I can disrespect my mother. You Is your mother named Beatrice? No, nah, no. Nah, okay, I proceed. <laughs> That's crazy, just to ask that. Okay. So, I'm on the phone with Ali. Matter of fact, I'm talking to my mother. I don't even remember what the hell was the discussion, but my mother was like, yeah, I could have been a dominatrix. I really was going to be. Back in the days, she was like, but she was like, oh, back in the 90s, I was going to be a dominatrix. So I tell her, I'm like, bitch, I was born in 91. <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck was I going to be while you was out dominating shit? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> so she was like, no, nah, I would have figured it out. But look, them rich men, them, they like nice shit. Or they, you know, she said, them rich niggas like nasty shit. Or I would have burnt them with a cigarette. I'm like, oh, my, don't, we're not going to do this. Meanwhile, Ali is on the phone cracking the fuck up, right? <laughs> and I just, I get back on the phone and I'm like, yeah, my mother says she would have been a dominatrix in the 90s. <laughs> I asked her where she, I was at. She said she would have figured out child care. She would have because that bitch would have made mad money. That's what I'm saying. And then I, I started thinking about that shit after I was so disgusted. And I opened the bathroom door and I was like, well, why didn't you? <laughs> Wait, isn't your mom, is your mom Jamaican? Hell no, my mother's uh, the descendant of slaves. Never mind. Oh, she's a Negro. <laughs> His dad's Jamaican. Yeah, my father's Jamaican. Because I'm about to say, Jamaican women are very intense. So I imagine them being perfect dominatrix. Oh, yeah. easily, yeah. I want to, before I die, I want to have sex with a Jamaican woman. That would be nice. Yo, Jamaican women are the most sexually confident people. I want that. Sexually confident people. Like, you ever see somebody slap their own vagina? Well, Damn. no, but I've seen them bitches in the party and they be letting niggas like jump off a speaker into their pussy. Yeah. Like, bitch, that didn't hurt your clitoris. One like, of them bitches taught me everything I needed to know about sex. Like, mm -hmm. she taught me about how to make bitches square, all that shit. Mm -hmm. And like, literally, she would go to parties and like, if she, like, let's say she, like, she was a bartender, so she used to get hired to do like them warehouse parties and shit. But she'd be back there flirting with niggas like, oh, y'all want to have vodka? Y'all want it with pineapple boy? Y'all want to, like, slapping her own pussy and flirting with the niggas and shit? You used to get hella tips. Yeah, of course. Bitch was so sexually confident, yo. Yeah. Like, Jamaicans are different. Like, I, I, the first time I ever squirted was with a Jamaican guy. It happens. Yeah. We and I was scared. I was like, oh, my God. What's happening? Oh, my God. I was like, I was so nervous. I was like, oh, my God, I'm peeing. And he was like... And he, he started laughing. Like he laughed. Because he knew it was up. He was like, you can't go to the beach without a little bit of water. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? We creative people. It was, in a, it was in a dorm room. Oh, okay. I think you're probably Jamaicans be going to college? Now. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. No, yeah, hell yeah. Jamaicans are mad smart. I always, there was always Jamaican niggas that would come to my school and they would like try to hold them back a year. And then they ended up like being a year ahead because they were always smarter. Hard working. Yeah, they were That's always That's what happened smarter. to Jamel. Remember I told you? They Jamaican. held the nigga back because he was Jamaican. Can you talk? Wow. So, so at, in the last episode, he was talking about how the nigga Jamaican Jamel, right? I'm just going to, I'm just going to, you know, wrap it, you know, yeah, yeah, just put yeah, it yeah. really quickly because you're long winded as fuck. So uh, Jamaican Jamel had this nigga Juan kiss his boot, right? <laughs> and one day I'm, t I'm sitting here because I play ball, play pro, semi-pro basketball. I'm telling him... I <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I sprained my ankle. He's like, oh, somebody dropped you? I was like, nah. I went up for a rebound, came down, and twisted it on somebody's foot. 
And he's like, yo, funny enough, I dropped that nigga Juan. And I'm like, who's Juan? I'm like, who the fuck are you talking about? He's like, the nigga that kissed Jamel's boot. And I'm like... <laughs> yo, I broke that nigga off in gym class. Like, Please. I used to have this move that I used to do because I wasn't necessarily the most athletic, but this was like back during and one days. So I had this move where I bounce it real high, right? And I throw my head like this, right? And then I pull that bitch back like that, right? <laughs> That nigga, I went this way. Nigga, Juan went flying that way. The whole class, even the teacher was like, oh. <laughs> I broke that nigga Juan off, yo. And the thing about it, like, that was sixth grade. Two years ago, he was kissing niggas boots. I never seen Juan do good in life. <laughs> Juan been down bad. Yo. Nothing happened to that nigga except getting left back. That nigga went to the, to the next grade every year, but he was in summer school and shit like that. Like, Juan had it hard. He was traumatized from kissing a boot, kissing the floor. Yo, yeah, the boot was, like, honestly, niggas stopped talking about the boot after a while. That was a sensitive subject, but at the graduation, <laughs> niggas was like, yeah, he graduated, but he still got broke off by court. Court mixed that nigga whole tape up real quick. <laughs> that sound crazy. For sure. Not broke off. Did you have the did you have the island the <laughs> Iverson sleeve on like you said? You had the sleeve on too or you was just chilling? Yo, I told you about the fucking Iverson sleeve and confidence. I did not think you was going to mention that. <laughs> and confidence, nigga, that's retarded. That's Yo, so, that's just that's my bad. You're not supposed to say the R word. That's special, bro. Yeah, I used to have an Iverson sleeve because Like why would that be in confidence? Like why is that a secret? Because I didn't want niggas to know I was courting. Doesn't say that. Just say that. Say, "Hey, Allie, like I don't want you to tell the world that I was corny at one point." Then I would have held it nah, tight to the I don't, vest. I don't care if niggas know, know that I was corny, but specifically the Iverson sleeve. But you didn't say that though, so now I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna use it and, and be like, oh, this is just funny. Like that's funny. You never had nothing that you thought made you play butt better. <laughs> yeah, socks. I used to have like crazy socks, and then I realized like I one one game I missed like five free throws, and I was like, these socks ain't shit. Mm. <laughs> I was like, this is not like fuck these socks. Let me go up in the in the in the gym in and practice, put up five thousand. Yeah. yeah, like in practice, like these socks ain't helping not near a nigga. So now I just wear regular. I mean, I do have colorful socks, but they're just like regular, like like like, like Nike socks like they're just yellow or green or blue yeah. but it's not like for aesthetic like it's just because like those are the socks that are in my drawer so that's the thing about me like i don't believe in practicing for shit like i play 12 instruments never practice none of them shits not for no concert no nothing man. what are the instruments i'm not about to list all them shits but it's cello viola <laughs> violin i'm not about to <laughs> list all them shits but <laughs> flute clarinet bitch <laughs> Bass, guitar. <laughs> nah, so I play every string <laughs> instrument in the orchestra. And then I play, like, piano. You're a pianist. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I know. I drew a blank. I was supposed yeah. to have something clever. But You're you welcome. Know. Yeah, I'm a pianist. Okay. I'm from the hood, nigga, because that's some poor shit, bro. I'm a piano player. Nah, you're a pianist. Nah, hell no. Let me go tell niggas in my You say you're from the hood, but you... Nigga, you sit Indian style, so it's like. <laughs> wow, fuck confidence. That's why you have me as your co-host because I am quick witted. You need an NDA, my nigga, because this shit is crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Never have I ever thought. Oh yo, yeah, it's bird ass nigga Chris Brown. <laughs> this nigga got a song called "It's Giving Christmas." <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> It's giving Christmas, my nigga. <laughs> this shit needs to stop. It has to. And I'm not talking about the word is giving. It's look, not a word, the phrase. Nigga. Okay, sorry. So look, the phrase is giving, right? I, I I understand that it may have started with the gays, right? And then it went on to the women. I don't think it started with the gays. It started with black women, but proceed. Probably, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, y'all always want credit for shit. I mean, it's not that we want credit. It's just that we we does this. So look, Chris Brown got a song called "It's Giving Christmas," right? <laughs> Some things you gotta let sit with the gays and the black women, or just women in general, because a nigga talking about some "It's Giving Christmas." <laughs> what, my nigga? How does it sound? Like how how is the song? I didn't listen to it. I forgot. And it's not even like some Vogue shit. I would rather if it was some Vogue shit. It's giving Christmas. Rub a pom pom, pop a pom pom pom. Rub a pom pom, this pussy pom pom. Oh, 
ปุ่มปุ่มค่ะ This is the canceled part. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> kidding. We don't claim that energy. No, because you know what? I love like the gays and their spirit and the music. Everything. I mean, I'm part of the LGBTQ community. Obviously, I'm bisexual. Yeah, I, I'm not a part of the laundry match giving back the quarters, <laughs> but I do like ballroom culture. It's like, phenomenal. Yeah, my thing is, I like to watch people do shit. In a group where everybody's enjoying that shit, yeah. it's nothing like seeing a group of motherfuckers enjoy themselves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when you watch like a ballroom, like I watch a lot of them shits on YouTube and shit, and these niggas is in there having fun and throwing themselves on the floor and shit. Yo, like that. that shit is like enjoy your life, like because you know what, there's so many other things that could be happening to black folk, right? Facts. Mm-hmm. So when I see them enjoying the fuck of themselves and they just being who they are, like. Go ahead, do it all. Plus, these niggas got a whole motherfucking lexicon. Like that shit is crazy. It's like a nigga will talk about you in front of you, and you won't even know. You're like, oh, you're giving butch queen cunt realness. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Can we just, you know, I'm part of the community, but like I don't really be like in it like that anymore. I used to party a lot with the gays and shit like that, but I, I had to stop because I just felt like I just wasn't rich enough. But anyways, um, because <laughs> it make us spend money. A lot of women, like, the, the, their least favorite word is cunt. Like, it's, like, the biggest, like, uh, offense. Like, this bitch called me a cunt. We fight in. And they use it like, oh yes, cunty, cunty, cunty. Like, cunt, 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 cunt. <laughs> Like, call me a cunt. Like, how, what, 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 what? Like, where did that come from? My like, thing is, like, I, I got a lot of gay friends, a shitload of lesbian friends, but a yeah. cool amount of gay guys, Because you laugh guys, like right? a fat lesbian. Yeah. Ooh, that's three. So, <laughs> so, like, the thing I always think is cool about them niggas is, like, they're themselves everywhere except for around their parents, but... Oh, my like, God. Like, the way them niggas talk to their friends is the way them niggas talk to me. Like, let's say I come in a spot... And I got on my glasses. They're like, yes, Versace. <laughs> like, hey, right, hey, what up, my nigga? How you doing? I love that. <laughs> They're so positive. Like, you know, I love, um, you know, house music and just like, you know, voguing music. It's all, it's just positive. You know what I'm saying? It just puts you in a good mood. Like, so when right. people was trying to like hate on Beyonce and Drake for putting out records that were house music based. I mean, I love house music. I've, I've always loved house music. So their last two albums gave me life. I was like, oh my God. Yes. Like, (laughs) yes. Um, Excuse me. I like the the induction of house music being played in the hood. Because nobody gets shot to house music. Like, if you see two niggas pull out a gun, this is for all DJs out there. Just play something else. Like, as soon as you see the gun come out, this is the rhythm of the night. (laughs) Conflict over. Conflict resolved. They're going to be like, what the fuck? (laughs) <laughs> like even like with Beyonce, she's so talented. So the mm-hmm. fact that she made that album, it's like, damn, you can really sing, lady. So I ain't got no choice but to like this shit, even if I wasn't going to. Yeah, I I really like them bringing that back. And then honestly, drill music is how it's like it's basically voguing. Like these niggas is getting down. Oh, you mean that getting sturdy shit? Yeah, that getting sturdy shit. That's you're voguing, bro. And they be they they be getting down on the let like uh uh. Uh, I think that niggas ran out of masculine things to do. <laughs> so now they just be doing that shit. Like, you ever see the kids that... Oh, the hips. <laughs> the hips is crazy. <laughs> Courtney. Like, they be doing... They be extra That's destiny. why you got the couch. They be like, yo... You couldn't have done else? that in this chair. Nah, I couldn't have. I would have fucked that whole, the whole chair, chair. <laughs> They kind of sell that chair, though. It's like... They keep doing additions to it to try to make it zestier. So it's like whoever is the zestiest by the end of the song, they win the dance off. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Yo, it's getting very zesty out here. And I don't have a problem with it, but I do have a problem with it when it's in sports. And here's why. Hold on. So I saw this fucking, um, this, this, this in the news. Um, <laughs> this little kid is kid. He's like. Oh, I, I went to my little brother's game on Saturday, and he did this after he made a jump shot. So little Bobby hits the shot, hits the J, right? Instead of saying Kobe, the motherfucker gets down and drops down and gets his eagle on. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hold on. You about to do it? You about to hit 
no, 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 no. Hell no. <laughs> I, don't I, don't I ain't getting back up. The nigga had his hands in the air, right? Yeah. The nigga was like this. The nigga started dropping down. His knees was fucking clapping and shit like that. I was <laughs> like, yo, little Billy. It was a little white boy, too. And he was getting it. He was like, boom, boom, cow. And I was like, yo, we're playing basketball. We're, why are you dropping down and getting your eagle on? That's that was because, insane. That's because niggas ran out of shit to do. Like his dad yeah. was mad. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to be there when these dances originate. Can you imagine how hype everybody around the nigga was when the first nigga did? Oh shit! Hold on. I knew that shit was gonna, when the first, I knew that shit was gonna happen. I said it in my head. But when the first nigga hit one of those, like, yeah, I want to the be folks. there because you imagine like niggas probably doing some regular shit. Uh, 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 uh song. But change. that's what happened. Boom. <sighs> Yeah, Pandemonium. that's literally what happened. I wanted to be there for the beginning of this shit. I love when Lil Uzi, I like watching Lil <laughs> Uzi Vert dance. He's so tiny. He's a pocket-sized nigga. If I saw him, I'm putting him in my pocket. He's Courtney, adorable. Courtney, a little bit more towards that. Oh, yeah. yeah I didn't, you moved. I just yeah. wanted to rock away from the mic real quick. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that, please. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Lil Uzi Vert is adorable. He's so cute and he's so awkward. I feel like he be like... He's probably a gangster. Do perks stunt your growth? Oh, my God. I can't imagine, because, you know, in life, you, everything, you got to do things in moderation. Mm-hmm. I feel like if you do anything OD, it's going to fuck something up. Yeah, that's how it be. Right. Like, if you fart too much, you're probably going to shit your pants at, one point, at some point. Oh, man. <laughs> Speaking of shit your pants, bro. Nah. No, 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 no. no, no. We're not I, doing this. No, I didn't shit myself. But oh, okay. look. So... <laughs> Well, I gotta, well, I gotta say that as an adult, for, for you to let me talk. I shit myself <laughs> several times as an adult. Oh, gang, gang! All right, so look, I'm in. I, I'm go. I go downtown to get a haircut. I go get a hot dog before I get the haircut. I oh, get, you I, fucking Clizzy Gladiator! Oh, I love the hot dogs on Fulton. They burn them. Like I, I get them burnt. I love the little char on my hot dogs. But look, I go in the barber shop, <laughs> sit in the chair. I'm just getting a taper, but. As soon as the niggas start cutting, I feel like I got to take a shit. Mm. But I thug it out. I sit through it because I don't want to get up in the middle of the cut. He got people waiting. Yeah. So the nigga finished the cut. <laughs> and I walk out and I'm like, oh, I can take this home. It's only a 10-minute walk. Oh, no. Two blocks later, I feel like I'm not going to make it home. Mm-hmm. My gym is right there. Mm. But there's a Jamaican restaurant even closer. So I go inside the Jamaican restaurant. <laughs> you tripping. And I'm like, I'm just looking for the bathroom. I don't even ask them. So I go and I'm walking where the bathroom should be. I don't even ask them niggas where it's at. And niggas like, yo, yo, brother, <laughs> brother, no bathroom. I'm like, oh, shit. So now I got a little turtle head poking out oh. my ass, right? <laughs> oh, my God. So it's prairie I, dogging. That's what we call it. Sh- that's what I'm saying. So, look, we don't got prairie dogs in the projects. Okay. We got turtles. So Do you? They sell them in tanks at the discount store. It's a long story. But, look. Oh, wow. Okay. So I, I go into the gym, but I can't just walk past them niggas. I got to check in. So I'm fumbling around with the app trying to show my QR code. I show it, and I'm walking. Do I take the elevator or do I take the stairs? The bathroom is downstairs. I could fuck around while waiting for the elevator. So nah, I gotta get there quick. I'm going to the stairs. I take two steps down the stairs. I feel like the warranty on my boxes is about to void, right? So, <laughs> oh my god! So I walk back upstairs. I get two slips of paper towel. They got the hard brown paper towel. I make this thing that's called a man pawn. It's a tampon for men. You, you roll the tissue up, you put it up your ass so that if you shit on yourself, it go on the tissue, right? So I do that. Wow, man pawned it. I'm going down the stairs. Every step I take down the stairs, I fart a little bit. <laughs> so it's just like step, vroom, step, vroom, step, vroom, step, vroom. I make it to the bottom of the stairs. And I'm just like, damn, I got to go to this bathroom. So I go in there and I'm like, I hope nobody, I hope the stalls is uh, at least one available. I get in there. This the toilet seat right here. This my ass. I shit like right here. <laughs> yeah, well, Literally fuck. a fucking buzzer beater. If it wasn't for the man pond, that shit would have fucked me up. <laughs> so subscribe to my YouTube. It's called Laugh With Cord. I'm doing a man pond tutorial. <laughs> so, that, Bro. so that none of my brothers got to deal with that. Yo, my mom said that like my dad used to fart so hard that he would leave shit streaks in his drive. Oh, that's shit. regular shit. And he used to, 
That's why I don't wear white underwear. <laughs> and he used to fart so hard that he was like, <laughs> he would do me holes in his drawers. Holes in his drawers? That he... <laughs> <laughs> and he would be like, he would be like, can you wash them? And she's like, nigga, throw them shit down. <laughs> I just want to know how you got your booty hole open enough. To put the man palm. Oh yeah, no, it, I think it just you just slide it, like you slide it in there. Yeah, you slide it between your crack and your yeah. asshole. Okay, in the crack. Yeah, it crack. goes. It yeah, goes, just the crack. Just yeah, the crack. You, you were you okay. took that literal. That's thing. why I was like, no, it's parallel me. to the crack. Something else. Part, this is something else that you're missing in the story. It's parallel to the crack. You don't insert it into the hole. Parallel to the crack is insane. <laughs> I I sharded in college. I thought I could <laughs> hold it. Uh, I was walking from the Rite Aid to the girls' basketball house, and I farted, and I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh That's crazy. I was like, aw, damn. And I got to their house, and I was like, guys, I just shit on myself. And they were like, hey, here's the bathroom. Here's some soap. Why people never keep that shit to themselves when they shit on Because I had to let them know, like, I was going to throw shitty drawers in They're the They're going to be like, who smells like shit in here? Like, well, I didn't smell like shit. It wasn't, like... Mm. Well, you know, I, you know what? I to probably... you, you didn't smell like shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 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 Shout out to my teammate, Jill Frill, though. I was drunk one night, and I, like, fell asleep on the toilet. And I had taken... Because I'm a part... Oh, oh, just so you guys know, I'm a serial shitter. So, like, I don't throw up when I get drunk. Like, I'll just go to the bathroom and shit. And, like, clear out space, and I'm good to go. Mm. So, this was one of those days. I was, like, really drunk. And I was like, okay, time to go poop. And, like, go back to the party. And I fell asleep on the toilet. And she she assisted me and she wiped my ass for me. Wow. And she was like, come on, sis. Like, come on, let's go. She's my teammate. I love her. She's a good friend. That's I like... don't give a fuck which team we on. I ain't wiping nobody <laughs> ass. I don't even wipe my nephew ass. <laughs> That's crazy. I wipe my nephew's butt. Yo, speaking He's of my one. nephew, I got this thing where, like, you know, since I'm his uncle, when I walk past him, if I got a fart, I'll lift my leg up and just... <laughs> <laughs> in his face that's right. what my brother does to me yeah just real quick just brum. so he thought that he was getting me back but when he lifted his leg the fault wasn't ready so this thing kept his leg up there tried to get the fault out nigga ended up stomping that leg down and went oh. <laughs> and nigga sit it on <laughs> <laughs> oh you're such a bad Yo, influence so I started laughing cause he shitted on himself and this nigga started crying because he shit on himself. <laughs> my sister come out the room. She like she beat your ass. She yelling at me. What the fuck you do to my son? What you do to my son? What he do to his son? And what the fuck is that? <laughs> Oh, that shit was so hilarious, oh, man. Shit. I ain't never laughed that hard in my life. Because <laughs> all he wanted was some revenge. And that nigga shit on himself. And let that be a lesson, guys. Sometimes you just got to let the universe get people back. But she over there cursing this nigga out. This nigga six. I caught her straight. She's like, I told you I'm playing with your stupid ass <laughs> uncle. <laughs> your uncle don't know no better. Tell and them what your nickname is. From, from where? That your nephew calls you. That nigga called me a lot of shit. He called me Cletus. He called me Uncle. <laughs> what? Cletus? Cletus, That's yeah. Funny. Me and my sister, we call each other Cletus. It's a long joke. It got something to do with my teeth. But Oh, my God. You she, do got Cletus teeth. You got Cletus. You have resting Cletus face. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to tell a story now. There was this nigga on The Simpsons who was a hillbilly. His name was Cletus. He had teeth like mine, right? <laughs> so my sister started calling me Cletus when I was like seven years old, right? <laughs> And this big football bitch, I couldn't even fight back. Right? <laughs> so, <laughs> from, oh my god! From age of seven to like eighteen, she was calling me Cletus. Never used my fucking real name. I'd be outside. She called me out the window, Cletus. Mommy finished cooking. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, so that's how her voice is. Okay. No, no, no. I'm just using that as an example. But um, <laughs> yeah, she called me like she would call me Cletus. So when I turned eighteen, I got tired of that shit, but I ain't had no comebacks. So I was like, bitch, you Cletus. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, so now we call each other Cletus, and we've been doing that ever since I was 18. But now the baby is involved. I call him the baby because he's the youngest one. He, he like is a baby. No, nah, that nigga. Phew. He's a tiny little baby. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> if you so, If you 10 and under to me, you're a tiny little baby. No, no, no. I mean, if I claim you on my taxes, you could be a baby forever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm about to claim Avon on my taxes. He's a guard dog. 
Oh, if you say that I babysit him, you can get more money. I do have. I'm, I'm not. I do have dog sitters. But if you say that I babysit, we could get more money. We'll, th- we'll talk about it. Yeah, say that. We don't got to discuss the legal shit on the podcast. <laughs> if anybody's interested in doing some tax fraud, let me know. Oh, God. What? I'm trying to get mine. Can you do that, like, on, on your own time? Because now I'm involved. You want to be involved. Uh, you- I already owe fucking FAFSA. That's what I'm saying. That shit ain't yours. <laughs> Look, Fuck y'all. You. If y'all niggas is over here bragging about the degrees y'all got and you putting them shits in your bio, don't put the degree in your bio until you pay that shit off. Okay. Yeah, y'all niggas got degrees on layaway and shit. Y'all talking about, <laughs> oh, I'm so I happy I you. went to school. No, you didn't. <laughs> I'm about two minutes away from shit. I, 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 I told you. I have to poop. Yeah, I do. All right, cool. So, um... Is there anything else that we want to make sure we get out of here before we get out of here? Nah, I mean, just follow the podcast on Instagram. Um, it'll be available on all streaming platforms. And, oh, I'm doing my voice now. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. I went from Allie to Alexandra really quick. Hmm. It happens. I'm not code switching. It's just, it is what it is. Like, nigga. No, that's her code. She's from Long Island. I am. And I'm proud of it. Kind of. All right, so look, guys, that has been the special needs podcast for this week. Um, I appreciate everybody who's watching. I appreciate everybody who hasn't watched but will watch. Fuck who won't watch, right? Um, thank you all for existing. Um, on the behalf of Ali and myself, we love y'all and we value each and every one of y'all. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.